partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered. Our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us now meditate on the five sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not unto temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of Saint Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may our church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the feast of St. Andrew, Apostle. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. And may the sea belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Don't grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah in Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. 
Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginnings now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. was Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter. O oh God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary, to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life, in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled us with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. The Lord loved Andrew and cherished his friendship. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Ananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. 
Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Andrew said to his brother Simon, We have found the Messiah, and he brought him to Jesus. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained, dishonor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You are strangers and aliens no longer. No, you are fellow citizens of the saints and members of the household of God. You form a building which rises on the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him the whole structure is fitted together and takes shape as a holy temple in the Lord. In him you are being built into his temple to become a dwelling place for God in the Spirit. You have made them rulers over all the earth. You have made them rulers over all the earth. They will always remember your name, O Lord, over all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have made them rulers over all the earth. I bow before the cross, made precious by Christ, my Master. I embrace it as his disciple. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised the world that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I bow before the cross, made precious by Christ, my Master. I embrace it as his disciple. Beloved friends, we have inherited heaven along with the apostles. Let us, vo let us voice our thanks to the Father for all his gifts. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the banquet of Christ's body and blood given us through the apostles, which refreshes us and gives us life. We pray. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for the feast of your word prepared for us by the apostles, giving us light and joy. We pray. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord. Praise be to you, Lord, for your holy church founded on the apostles, where we are gathered together into your community. We pray. The company of apostles praises you, O Lord for the ordination anniversary of Father Lauro de Dios Opi, Father Vladimir Mago Opi, and Father Junior Pedroso Opi. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for the soul of Father Teodulo Kahigal Opi, whose death anniversary occurs today. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Praise be to you, Lord, for the cleansing power of baptism and penance that you have entrusted to your apostles, through which we are cleansed of our sins. We pray. The company of apostles praises you, Lord. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, in your kindness, hear our petition. You called Andrew the Apostle to preach the gospel and guide your church in faith. May he always be our friend in your presence to help us with his prayers. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the feast of the Apostle Andrew, our community also commemorate the ordination anniversary of us who are celebrating today. 14 years for Father Bal and I, and Father Janelle is celebrating his first year as an ordained priest. And so many brothers and sisters, as we offer this Eucharist, this Thanksgiving, include us in your prayers, in your petitions, so that we may be worthy and holy priests of Christ. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins, and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Altogether, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
the spring. We humbly implore your majesty, O Lord, that just as the blessed apostle Andrew was for your church a preacher and pastor, so he may be for us a constant intercessor before you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For one believes with the heart, and so is justified, and one confesses with the mouth, and so is saved. The scripture says, No one who believes in him will be put to shame. There is no distinction between Jew and Greek. The same Lord is Lord of all, and reaching all who call upon him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But how can they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how can they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone to preach? And how can people preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring the good news. But not everyone has heeded the good news. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed what was heard from us? Thus faith comes from what is heard, and what is heard comes through the word of Christ. But I ask, did they not hear? Certainly they did, for their voice has gone forth to all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The judgment of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than silver, of honey from the comb. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon who was called Peter and his brother Andrew, casting a net into the sea. They were fishermen. He said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. But once they left their nets and followed him, he walked 
along from there and saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother, John. They were in a boat with their father, Zebedee, mending their nets. He called them, and immediately they left their boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Doon sa ating unang pagbasa, isinalarawan ni San Pablo kung paano makikilala ng isang tao si Jesus. Ito ay sa pamamagitan din ng tao na magdadala sa kanya ng mabuting balita. Sa pamamagitan ng tao magpapakilala sa kanya kay Jesus. Makikilala ng isa si Jesus. Simple lang ang argumento. Pero ang mas mahalagang elemento, kung babalikan natin ang ating unang pagbasa, ay kung paano pinapalaganap ang mabuting balita na tama. Kailangan ng ipapalaganap o ang makakarating na mabuting balita ang ibanghelyo sa taong tatanggap nito ay tama. Tama ang kanyang mapapakinggan. Totoo ang turo ni Jesus na kanyang maririnig. Kaya nga mahalaga na ang isang tao na magpapalaganap ng mabuting balita ay talagang isinugo, ipinadala kaya yung sulat ni San Pablo, mababanaag natin yung kanyang labis na pag-aalala. Ipinapaliwanag ni San Pablo kung paano makakarating mabuting balita. Pero, mababanaagan natin doon sa kanyang mga salita yung kanyang labis na pag-aalala na pwede natin sabihin na sa isang mabuting, isang klaseng pag-aalala na mabuti o siguro isang mabuting kalabisan. Kasi sinasabi sa atin, di ba, huwag kang mag-alala. Pero yung pag-aalala ni Pablo na maipalaganap ang mabuting balita at ito ay marinig ng tao sa kasuluk-sulukan ng mundo hindi ito masasabing kalabisan. Yung kanyang pag-aalala na makilala ng buong mundo si Jesus, ito isang mabuting pag-aalala, hindi kalabisan. Kaya nga hindi ko alam kung kahit pa paano nararamdaman natin yung nararamdaman ni San Pablo. Kung nandun din ba talaga sa ating puso yung ujok na makilala si Jesus, yung may palaganap ang kanyang mabuting balita. Kung nandun ba talaga sa atin yung ujok na yun. E paminsan naiisip ko, kung hindi ganun, kung hindi natin nararamdaman yung anxiety ni Pablo, malamang, hindi pa natin nakikita kung gaano kahalaga sa buhay ng tao ang salita ng Diyos. Baka hindi pa natin nakikita kung gaano kahalaga para sa isang tao 
na makilala si Jesus. Kung babalikan natin yung ating salmo, di ba? Ano pang ba dinudulot sa isang tao na marinig ang salita ng Diyos? Sabi doon, the law of the Lord is perfect. Refreshing the soul. The precepts of the Lord are right. Rejoicing the heart. They are more precious than gold. Than the heap of purest gold. And sweeter than honey from the comb. Hindi ba ito yung dinudulot ng salita ng Diyos sa sino mang makakarinig nito at tatanggap nito. Kaya nga maintindihan natin yung nangyari sa ating Ibanghelyo. Naglalakad si Jesus, tapos sinabi niya kay Simon at Andres, sumunod kayo sa akin. Pero ito'y medyo iba dun sa sinasabi natin na pwedeng asahan ng sino mang disipulo noon. Kasi noong panahon ni Jesus, kapag ikaw, ikaw ay isang guro o maestro at meron kang disipulo, ang nangyayari ay ang disipulo ang lalapit sa guro at makikiusap na siya ay maging disipulo niya. Pero sa ating Ibanghelyo baliktad, si Jesus mismo ang nagkusa. Si Jesus mismo ang nag-initiate. Tinawag niya si Simon at Andres at sa kailawang bahagi si Juan at Santiago. At sinasabi sa atin dito na kung Diyos mismo ang nagkukusa at nagsasabi sa atin na siya ang nagtatakda ng gawa na may palaganap na magkaroon siya ng disipulo o ng mga apostoles na may palaganap ang mabuting balita. Ibig sabihin, ganito ito kabigat ang tungkulin na ito. Ganong kahalaga sa katunayan, hindi ba? Kitang-kita natin sa ating Ibanghelyo. Alang-alang sa mabuting balita. Alang-alang sa salita ng Diyos. Pwede, itong, pwede mong ipagpalit ang lahat. Pwede mong ipagpalit ang trabaho mo, pamilya mo, mga kaibigan mo, ang bayan mo. Maging ang buhay mo. Pwede mong isuko ito alang-alang sa Ebanghelyo. Ngayong araw na ito, gagayin ng nabanggit ng ni Father Larry, ay ipinagdiriwang namin ang aming anibersayo ng pagkapare. Si Father Lauro at ako po ay labing apat na taon ng pare. At si Father Junel, yun nandiyan po sa pinakakaliwa, ay one-year-old priest. At ngayong araw po na ito ay isang araw ng pagpapasalamat sapagkat masasabi namin na dahil sa grasya ng Diyos, sa grasya ng kanyang pagtawag, ay nakuha din namin ibigay kay Jesus ang aming buhay. At siyempre kasabay nito, kagaya ng pagtawag ng Diyos, meron din kaming mga isinupo sa aming buhay. Kaya nga ang aming hiling, no? sabi ko nga, no? 
labing apat na taon ng pare, si Father General Wanyer. At ang aming hiling ay patuloy niyo po kaming idalangin, ipanalangin na nawa ay maging tapat kami sa aming tawag, sa pagtawag ng Diyos ni Kristo sa aming buhay bilang mga pare. Kaya itong araw na po na ito ay araw ng pagpapasalamat sa grasya ng Diyos sa Kanyang pagtawag sa amin. At kaya nga ang buhay ng isang tinawag, no? maring hindi naman perpekto, meron din mga pagkukulang at pagkakamali ang mga tinawag. Pero siguro, no? kagaya nung nangyayari sa ating Ibanghelyo, sa labing apat na taong ko bilang pari, no? ang nasasabi ko ay, ang tawag ng Diyos, araw-araw. Kaya nga, kapag ka nakikita natin ang ating sarili, na wari bang medyo nananamlay, no? o para bang nawawala ng sigda upang tumugon sa tawag ng Diyos, no? pwede naman nating idalangin ulit. No? Siguro coming from this experience, no? kung saan agad-agad tumugon si Simon, si Andres, si Santiago at Juan, no? pwede nating sabihin ulit no? sa Diyos, no? Panginoon, Tawagin mo ulit ako ngayon, kagaya nung unang pagtawag mo sa akin. Panginoon, tawagin mo ulit ako ngayon. Tawagin mo ako ngayong araw na ito, gaya nung unang pagtawag mo sa akin. Let us now offer our petitions. Let us commend our inter intentions to the care of God, the Father, with the prayers of St. Andrew. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors, called by God to be fishers of men, may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, and the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Dominican brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas in UST and St. Raymond de Peña Fort in Legaspi, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Father Lauro de Dios O.P., Father Cecilio Vladimir Magbo O.P., and Father Janel Pedroso O.P., as they celebrate their priestly ordination today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, as you call St. Andrew the Apostle to preach the Gospel, give us also the necessary graces to have the strength to be a model of your wor in words and deeds. We ask this 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Almighty God, that through these offerings, which we bring on the feast, feast day of St. Andrew, we may please you by what we have brought and be given life by what you have accepted. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. To lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, Watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Ernesto our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Andrew, our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of, the of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, behold the Lord Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lamb of God, who will take all away our sins. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy word. that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are pleasant in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Horatio Imperata for protection against the COVID-19 virus. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people thus to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use this vaccine to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, La Naval de Manila, Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Andrew. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican holy men and women of God. Pray for us. Let us pray. May communion in your sacraments strengthen us, O Lord, so that by the example of the blessed Apostle Andrew, we who carry in our body the death of Christ, may merit to live with him in glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Samalan po ng aking mga kapatid, na sina Father Val at Father Larry, kami po ay lubos na nagpapasalamat sa inyo sa inyong pakikisama sa ating banal na misa. Maraming salamat po sa aming mga kapamilya na todo suporta po sa aming desisyon na aming ialay ang aming buhay sa Diyos. Nagpapasalamat rin po kami sa aming prior na si Father Roger Kirao Opi sa kanyang patuloy na pagbibigay ng kaligayahan sa ating kumbento. At lubos po kaming nagpapasalamat sa inyo at sa Diyos sapagat hindi po kayo uh, nawawalan ng tiwala na kaya naming ibigay ang aming mga sarili para sa Diyos at para sa ating simbahan. Sana po patuloy niyo po kaming ipagdasal at sana Gabayan po tayo ng Diyos sa lahat ng ating mga desisyon sa buhay. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.